Barcelona is one of the greatest food cities in the world. Here, you can find so much value and variety. From bustling food markets, tapas bars, seafood restaurants, there is so much to choose from that you honestly can't go wrong. As soon as we landed, we lined up at our first stop, La Cova Fumada. You know it's going to be authentic tapas when there is no signage outside and no menu given to you when you sit down. Of course, we knew exactly what we wanted to order. We ordered the Bombas patatas, mussels, sardines and grilled calamar. The Bombas patatas. These balls of deliciousness originated here and they were so good we had to order another serving. It's a soft mashed potato croquette with a crispy outer layer topped with the richest alioli and a dollop of chili sauce. Honestly, this is a must try if you ever go to Barcelona. Our next favorite was the grilled calamar. It tasted so fresh and was cooked to perfection. The calamar was tender, but also had an amazing char on the outside. Everything here was delicious and really set the bar high for our food adventure in Barcelona. Look no further than Patisseria Hoffman if you're craving something sweet. The mascarpone croissant is a must try. It's as if a flaky croissant and a crispy cream donut had a baby and made this beauty. It was flaky with a sweet sugar glaze and the mascarpone filling gave it the right amount of freshness and tartness to balance it all. This is a perfect on the go snack for when you're exploring the city. We explored La Bucaria markets and grabbed ourselves some jamon and cheese. The jamon didn't disappoint. It has a depth of flavor, melts in your mouth and goes perfectly with the cheese and biscuits. We then ordered some grilled peppers at a tapas store. The peppers here were a bit underwhelming. There wasn't a lot of char or flavor, so maybe skip this store. Dinner time means tapas time. Guel Tapas has a relaxing yet intimate vibe with its dim lighting and indoor-outdoor dining area. We were curious to see what this bread and tomato tapas tasted like. And it's basically bread with tomato mashed and spread on top of it. We ordered a jug of sangria and it was so sweet and balanced. You couldn't even tell you're drinking a concoction of alcohol. The patatas bravas here were so addictive. The crispy bite-sized potatoes with alioli and chili sauce is a match made in heaven. The meatballs here were soft and tender and had a good hearty flavor. The sirloin was a bit on the tougher side so I would recommend ordering something else. The serving sizes at Guel Tappers were so generous, so definitely come hungry. La Bucaria is honestly the place to go for any time of day. We decided to revisit it the next day for breakfast at El Quim. They're known for their fried egg breakfast tappers. We tried the classic eggs with jamon and it was such a nice twist on a traditional breakfast. The grilled peppers were the perfect palate cleanser for the rich breakfast tapas and tasted a lot better than yesterday's peppers. Of course, we had to order another round of potatoes bravas, which definitely made this a carb heavy breakfast. And to wash it all down, we ordered a cappuccino. El Quim has amazing service, even when they're during their busy breakfast rush. We highly recommend eating here. To continue our breakfast, we tried La Paloresia. 
for their churros and hot chocolate. We ordered a very small hot chocolate and churros just to try it out. The hot chocolate was very thick and a bit too rich for our liking. The churros here are lightly fried and golden, but nothing amazing. Stay tuned to the end to see the best place to eat churros in Barcelona. After exploring the city and going on tours, we stopped by Vinita's for a tapas break. The ham as well as the cheese and honey montaditos were our favourite. The ham was very flavourful and the cheese with honey was a nice contrast to the savoury montaditos. We did find that the baguette was a little bit hard and dry though. The octopus Galician style was amazing. If you try this, this will change your standards of how octopus should be made forever. The octopus was so tender and soft that you can easily cut it with a butter knife. It was lightly spiced with paprika and served on a bed of pumpkin puree. The special of the day was suckling pig and this was another dish to remember at Vinitas. The pig was so juicy and soft and you also get slices of the thin crispy pork skin too. We can't forget about Paella. Can Ramonette is a cozy restaurant that offers the most delicious Paella and the noodle version, Fidua. They were both so delicious. My favourite was the Fidua because the noodle texture was amazing and the flavours were very familiar to my palate. We also ordered the Crema Catalana which is similar to a creme brulee with added spices and cinnamon. Pro tip, order your wine in a poron if you want a good time. You're most likely going to see the stunning La Sagrada Familia, so if you do, eat here afterwards. Patelico Sagrada Familia is a hidden gem. It's basically a seafood market where you pick your fresh seafood, choose how you want it to be cooked, and then wait for your taste buds to be amazed. Look at the size of these oysters and they tasted so fresh. We also ordered a lemon beer which was super refreshing and went so well with all of the seafood. These fried baby fish were so crispy it felt like we were eating french fries. Even the salad was delicious. To be fair, this was our first salad in Barcelona. <laughs> then the mussels. We couldn't stop eating them. We got half steamed and half in our tomato sauce. With the steamed ones, we added some garlic and lemon and they were honestly chef's kiss. And to finish it off, these garlic prawns. Lawrence and I went to seafood heaven here. Surprisingly, there are so many Japanese restaurants in Barcelona, so we decided to visit Takumi Sapporo Ramen. The restaurant is beautifully decorated, so you feel like you are transported to Japan. The gyoza was yummy. It is the standard gyoza that you can get at any Japanese restaurant. We also ordered the spicy miso ramen with pork, and because the seafood in Barcelona is next level, we tried the spicy ebi ramen. The broth and noodles definitely hit the spot, but the ebi was the highlight of the meal. The tempura was crispy and the shrimp was so succulent and cooked perfectly. Our cravings for noodles were definitely satisfied. To finish off our amazing food adventure, we had to go to the top rated churro place in Barcelona, Churreria. We ordered a classic churro and one filled with dulce de leche. These churros were so crispy and golden and sprinkled with the perfect amount of cinnamon sugar. And if you have a sweet tooth, you will love the filled churro. They offer other filling choices such as Nutella, Oreo, banana, caramel and more. This is definitely a must try. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy your food adventures.